This is the Sales Bible Podcast, episode 234, Consulting, Coaching, and Serving Your Ideal Client, an interview by Ben and Aiden Hoppy. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non sellers. And now, your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and this is the podcast that uncovers selling secrets for non sellers. Now, many of us have never thought that we'd end up in this profession. We had some passion project that we started and studied many years ago, yet here we are in the thick of it. And it was through my passion project that I came to the realization that I wanted more people to love and embrace what I've created. So in my mind, I had no choice but to learn a little bit about sales and persuasion. And one thing led to another, and the next thing you know, we're podcasting about it. What a strange turn of events. Which brings us to today, where we're going to turn the tables around. We're going to have some budding young entrepreneurs interview me on the podcast. Ben and Aiden Hoppy are my nephews. This past summer, we shared an adrenaline rushed experience of doing roller coasters at Cedar Point, Ohio. My favorite was the Top Thrill Dragster. It's a hydraulic launched accelerator coaster that goes from zero to 120 miles an hour in less than four seconds. That's almost 200 kilometers per hour. And just as you get to the top, It plummets 120 meters down. That's like 420 feet. And before you realize that you're crashing to your death, everything just flies by. It flattens out and it comes to a stop in 17 seconds. The whole thing is only like 30 seconds. (laughs) During our weekend, one rainy morning, Ben and Aiden interviewed me on my business and podcasting. They've always been interested in this goofy podcast and consulting business that I've created. So they took control of the mic, keeping the interview both fun, fast-paced, and informative. Now, what we're getting ready to do is something that you should be able to do to answer the questions that they asked me. So I've included in the show notes a checklist so that you can download it totally free. The checklist covers the questions that you would answer if a prospect was to ask you about your ideal client the issues they face, solutions that you can bring, and the benefits that they would experience. Also, I've included some useful tools and persuasion, so the way to think about this is an elaboration on your pitch, part of your presentation. In fact, when we're all done, I'd love to hear how you would answer these questions. One last thing, make sure and click on the subscribe button on on the podcast player that you're listening to this right now so you don't miss a single episode. So, with no further ado, let's get to it. This is the Sales Babble Podcast. Today we're going to be interviewing Uncle Pat about sales, business, and marketing. Welcome, Pat. Are you ready to battle? I mean, babble. (laughs) (laughs) Why, yes, I am ready to babble, and I am ready to babble. What a surprise. Usually I'm the one asking the questions. Why are you guys asking me questions? Um, because he told us. <laughs> yep. Yep, because he told us. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> well, I think that's a that's a pretty good... I would say I really told you. I asked you if you would do this, right? Are you... Yeah, I guess, I guess you, he asked. Yeah, he asked. Yeah, he asked you asked us. You asked us. I'm, I'm not making you do anything You're here. Not this. You're not making us do this. So you have some questions you want to ask me? Um, yes. How many questions are there? Seven. Seven questions. Okay, that sounds good. So uh, why don't you ask your first question? Who is your ideal client? Oh, my ideal client? My ideal client are people who are startups, who are starting a business they never had before. Um, I am also work with people who, um, who are, uh, have an established business, but they're starting up a new product or a new service. And they're not really certain exactly who they're going to sell it to. And, and uh, those are the people I really enjoy working with. I also really enjoy working with people who are in technology because that's where I come from, technology. We talk a lot about technology. Yes. Like what was the most recent conversation about technology we had? Oh, um, a virtual reality lawnmower where you walk on a treadmill with a virtual reality mask on and you mow your lawn doing that. <laughs> exactly. 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I obviously don't know. I wasn't here for that conversation. The next question is, what is the problem you solve? I think the big problem I'm trying to solve um, is the people that I coach with and work with are experiencing, you know, things like, you know, they're just not growing revenue. They don't know exactly who to talk to to get their first customer. Um, they don't know where to find them. Um, they don't know how to start a conversation. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to meet people. And, you know, I think, I think that a lot of the people that I work with, they have almost a sense of angst and fear and dread, and they kind of avoid trying to find new customers. Mm -hmm. They try to avoid, you know, actually doing the work. So what do they do? They, they keep working on the thing that they're building, keep working on the thing they're building. And at the same time, they're wondering why their business isn't growing. Wow, Pat, that's really great. That was also, that was very great. Hey, thanks. You, you guys are great. Third question is, what are typical symptoms people experience with that problem? Oh, that's a really good question, Aiden. That's a really good question. I think the biggest, I think the biggest problem is, is that um, is they're not seeing growth. They're not seeing people buying their, you know, their products and services. They're not seeing momentum. It's almost like they got this secret that nobody knows about, and they want everybody to know about it. Because I don't, I don't know about you guys. This is what I think. If you don't have any customers, you don't make any money. If you don't make any money... Don't get any customers. Or you don't have any business. Oh. <laughs> and if you don't have any business... You don't, any you don't have any... You don't get any customers. <laughs> right, right, right. And that's how you go out of business. That's about on, Pat. Yeah. Hey, thanks. I, I, thought, I thought it was, too. Okie okay, dokie. Can I... Yes! <laughs> The fourth question is, what are the common mistakes people make when trying to solve that problem? Oh, that's a good question. I'm really glad you asked that. Um, you know, some of the things, I think the biggest problem that people have is they don't get the value that they're providing to their customers. They don't speak that secret language that customers have. And in fact, when they do talk, they talk, they almost like talk too much about their thing, but not about the problem or you know the the issues or the desires the problems or desires that the that the that the customers experiencing so so, re so really what you kind of get here is it's all about a, a me 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 when these customers have when these you know when these companies when my clients have it's all about me 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 and it's really not about the customer it's not about them that not helping attitude i'm not really here trying to help you that kind of attitude doesn't go very far in business and i think what's really important uh, sorry what no, there's no, nothing else just thinking. But I think if you don't have the attitude, I'm here to help people, people aren't going to buy your stuff. Nope. People will not buy your stuff if you're like that. You ever, you ever had a bad salesperson? You ever, you ever met a bad, bad salesperson? Yep. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. No. Okay. That's all right. Here's my next question, Pat. What is one valuable free action that the audience can implement what, that will help them solve that problem. Oh, you like one piece of advice? Yes. Okay. I think the most important thing people can do is to really interview the marketplace. Instead of like guessing what people want to buy, actually spend time re literally talking to people. That's probably the one thing that I'm constantly promoting with the clients that work for me is go out and talk to people, interview them. Go do networking, go to conferences, um, connect with them on LinkedIn, um, connect with them on all kinds of other social media. kind of depends on what business you're in. Um, talk to people that you know. And if they don't know anything about the thing that you're selling or the problem they have, maybe they know people who know people. And get them to like connect with you. If people, if you just go out there and you talk to people, I believe you can really learn an awful lot about whether or not the thing that you're, the product or service that you're making actually has a possibility and can actually make a lot of money. Stop avoiding talking to people. Go out right now and talk to them. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I, th that's what I think. Before we go, Pat, where can people learn more about you? Well, they're actually listening to this podcast right here, salesbabble.com. Um, but I don't know if they know this. There's a whole back catalog. There's like two over 250 episodes that go back three, four years. And we talk about all things sales and marketing and business. We talk about 
prospecting and how to find how to define leads we talk about how to qualify people how to give a presentation how to close the deal and how to build relationships so that they keep buying stuff from you or they introduce you to people that they have all of that is in the podcast all of that's in the back catalog and uh, if i was if i was people i would i would certainly go there to uh, salesbabble.com also too if people want to they can they can they can click on the Babble Me button on 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 Sales Babble, and uh, that'll send an email directly to me, and I'd be more than happy to to uh, answer their questions. Um, or or the, or they can call me at six three zero seven six eight thirty one thirty four. I feel like Ben's just now. What's the most important thing in sales that people need to know? I think great sellers have heat, and by heat I mean H E A T. They have H. They have a helpful attitude. E, they're empathetic about the pain or the desire that people have, and they really want to help them. Number three, they are astute. They really learn what the business is that the other people have, that their potential customers have. And uh, they're able to connect dots and to find solutions that they don't know themselves. And then the fourth thing is they're tenacious, which means they keep reaching out, they keep following up, they don't let go. And that's what I think really makes for great people. H-E-A-T, helpful empathetic, astute, and tenacious. Because this is the thing. Doesn't empathetic start with an E? It does. H-E-A-T. Helpful. (laughs) Helpful, empathetic, astute, and tenacious. (laughs) I think you need to work on your spelling. What do you think? Yes, I do. (laughs) One more thing. I believe it's, this is almost a paradox, and I'm, to, I'm not talking about two birds that, like, quack. Knock, knock, quack. Quack, quack. I'm talking about the best way to sell is to not sell. Just be helpful. I agree with that statement. Me too. From all your years of experience, what is the best, most valuable free tip that you can give people? Wake up. Don't squander the day. Live your values and live them now. Life is pretty short. Don't squander today. Take action today. Thanks, Uncle Pat. I really appreciate you coming to visit us on Sales Babble. Thanks. Thank you, Pat. Hey, it's been an honor to be here. Thank you for having me on your podcast, or having me on my podcast. (laughs) (laughs) As you can tell, I thank all the world of these kids. I can't get over how bright and sharp they are, And it's no doubt they're going to be highly successful in life with their entrepreneurial mindset. As I mentioned at the top of the show, I've created a checklist of all the questions that we talked about and how this is an elaboration on your pitch. So in the show notes at www.salesbabble.com slash 234, I'll be including that checklist as well as some tools on persuasion and one for your pitch. As they say, you can only make a good first impression once. Let's see if we can't raise the odds to your favor. Make sure and click the subscribe button on your podcast player so you don't miss a single episode. If you got a question or a comment, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. You can easily find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me button at www.salesbabble.com. That's all I got for this week. Until next, take care and have a highly successful and profitable selling day. Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. <laughs>